What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm E-Bike Builder and I do a lot of e-bike things. And so it's for gears. Ever since this X-Peak came out, I've been wondering. This X-Peak e-bike from Electric E-Bikes, you can see it right here. There's a high step version of it that's currently sold out and there's the Stratus White step through version of it. So I've always been wondering, what is the, what's the electric Stealth M24? Remember that? Remember how Levi was telling us about that? How there's this Stealth M24 motor? And somehow, these motors that come on the electric X-Peak and some of the other electric bikes, I believe, they're just like, they're supposed to be quieter. That's why they call it Stealth M24. But they never really like tell you how it works or what it is exactly. And I thought, so how these motors usually work, these geared hub motors, is they've got planetary gears inside of them that are straight cut. And so that's how it usually works, and they're made out of like nylon or whatever. And so I was, in the past, I was kind of brainstorming like what could be different about these motors, because we know that they got them from Bafang. But what is different about it for that M22 Stealth? <clears throat> and I think I solved that mystery last night. I was on YouTube and I searched for X-Peak, like X-Peak motor disassembly or something. And then I did find one short video here. Let's move, whoops, let's move my head out of the way so you can see that which channel it's from here, but it's... This video is called Electric X-Peak Motor Disassembly, and it's from Richard Lewis on YouTube. He's got 640 subscribers, but so look at this, boys. Let's take a look at this video. We're going to watch it quick, and then you guys let me know if you can notice what the Electric M22 Stealth is. Let me know in the comments. Here's the video. This is Richard at the Steady Pedal with another shaky video. Yeah, all right. Hey, I can't really hear what he's saying, so I'm turning the I'm turning the sound off. It's probably gonna be echoing in my mic, anyways. So, so he's got the electric X Peak motor right here, and apparently it's dead somehow. Um. Oh yeah. So it's got this L one zero one nine connector. And Richard said that one of the pins broke off inside of there, which is kind of interesting. I've never, I've never had that happen. So there must have been some kind of, I don't know, some kind of like strain pulling on that thing, or it was like zip tied down too tight or something. It's kind of weird. But that's not the Stealth M22 or M24. Let's keep going. So he does open this thing at some point. Um, let's see here. Alright, so here it comes. Here it comes. I'm going to turn off the closed captions. Get ready. Do you guys notice anything about the gears in this electric motor? So it looks a lot like a Bafang G60. Right? Like the case, the shell of the motor. And kind of like the thing that the spokes lace into. It looks like a Bafang G60 motor. But I'm seeing something different about it here than usual slightly different. Can you see it here? There's another picture just in a second here. There it is. Here it is. So look at this, boys. I think this video from Richard Lewis unlocked the secrets of the electric X-Peak M24 stealth technology. So it looks like these gears in this thing, they're not straight cut gears. They're like slightly angled. It seems like they're like slightly helical. So they're not exactly straight cut, and you can see down in here that sun gear, the teeth on the sun gear, are kind of slanted as well. So it's definitely, and I, I wasn't sure if it was like some fisheye lens thing going on here, but these gears are definitely not straight cut. They're like slightly helical, or curved. <clears throat> And then there's some other kind of grease in there, and it looks like they actually put a decent amount of the grease in it. Whatever that stuff is. So it seems like the electric M24 stealth technology is a combination of these, like, slightly helical gears that they've apparently got the fang to put into the G60, which usually comes with straight-cut gears. 
and then there's like a lot of grease in there. So that's kind of interesting. I think that's the mystery solved. I think Richard, uh, Richard Lewis solved the mystery here through this video, and he wasn't even aware of it. So thanks to Richard Lewis for this video. This solves the mystery of electric stealth M24 technology. These gears usually come with straight cut, or these motors usually come with straight cut gears. Alright, so I just left a comment on Richard Lewis's video here. This solves the mystery. This solves the mystery of the electric stealth M24 technology. These motors usually come with straight cut gears. But Fang must have made custom motors for electric with slightly helical or angular gears to, redu to reduce noise. But Fang doesn't usually use that black grease in these motors either. It's usually a white lithium grease, far less than that. So I'm funny. M24 Stealth must be a combination of the gears and the grease. So one thing I was thinking about this is like, it could be a slight disadvantage because these gears are not easy easily replaceable like it's not I don't I think Bafang must have like sourced these gears custom just for electric and I think if you needed to get replacement gears or like a replacement clutch um, you would probably have to buy it from electric So I wonder if Electric, if they ordered, if they ordered any like extra gears or any clutches or anything, or do they just replace the whole motor if something goes wrong with it? I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have any gears and they just replace the whole motor. As long as you're not goofing around, these motors usually last quite a long time. And the nylon gears, there's a lot of people that don't like the idea of nylon gears in a motor. But the way that these things are designed, if you run them with the factory stock settings, like the gears should just last for years. So it's, I mean, as long as you don't abuse the gears, they should really like last, you know, a long time, right? So it's not, it's not too much of a concern, the nylon gears, as long as you're just driving the X-Peak with a stock controller. It should take, you know, a number of years before you ever have any kind of problems. And I think, I think it would be possible to potentially to switch this thing <clears throat> to straight cut gears because you can buy the whole straight cut gear, like the whole planetary gear system for these motors has been a while, has been a lo around for a while, right? It's been around for a long time. So you can go on AliExpress and buy the whole like the ring gear and then the three planetary gears on the clutch, the planetary gear carrier with that clutch and that sun gear in the middle, like you can buy the whole thing on AliExpress for like less than a hundred dollars but it is kind of like almost approaching the cost, like half of the cost of just like a whole new motor It'd be interesting to see if something goes wrong with your gears and you contact electric customer support, how they would remedy that situation. I wonder if they have spares or if they would just like send you a whole new motor and they just kind of, they're just kind of like built under the assumption that you're not going to mess around with it and then it's going to last a while. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you have an electric bike and you ever had to get like any kind of like a replacement motor or replacement gears or anything, let me know how that goes. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to share this with you because I think we solved the mystery of the electric M24 stealth technology. I always wondered about that and what it was. I thought maybe it was like peak gears or like gears made out of some different material or something. But I think that it probably still would have made a noise. It just would have been like a different noise, probably. And it did seem like something was like significantly different in this motor. So I guess that's what it was. Very interesting. I've never seen this never seen a G60 with these gears like this and then so the other thing about when you're using straight cut gears versus helical gears is that um, so it says when you have helical gears there's a noise reduction 
the motor and its associated gearbox will operate much more quietly because the gradual engagement of helical teeth avoids the sudden impact shock that occurs when straight cut teeth when straight cut teeth mesh. The power transmission will feel smoother. There will be less vibration. Smoother transfer of torque, less pulsation. So I guess they work the radio there's some benefits to the like the heel helical gears. But then there's this, there's generation of axial thrust. And I remember Justin from Grintech, he taught me about this one time. Generation of axial thrust. So there's a new force component introduced by helical gears that isn't present with straight cut gears. The motor shaft and gear bearings will now experience a force pushing them along the axis of rotation. The angled nature of the teeth creates a force component parallel to the gear shaft's axis. The thrust force needs to be managed by appropriate bearings like thrust bearings or angular contact bearings capable of handling axial loads. If the original design only accounted for radial loads typical with spur gears, the existing bearings might wear out prematurely or fail if not upgraded. So that's kind of interesting. So it says, summary of behavioral changes. Before, when they were using straight cut gears, it's noisier, there's a whining sound, especially at speed, potentially more vibration, simpler bearing requirements with no axial thrust, and high efficiency. And then when you use helical, it's significantly quieter, smoother operation, less vibration, potentially higher torque capacity, but introduces that axial thrust requiring appropriate bearing support and possibly a tiny fraction less efficient due to sliding friction. Switching to helical gears trades the simplicity and absolute peak efficiency of straight cut gears for much quieter, smoother operation, often with better load distribution at the cost of introducing axial thrust that must be managed in the design. So I wonder if they had to do any different bearings here I mean that bearing down in the cover down there I don't know does that look any different it seems the same to me that's kind of interesting so if you guys know which way the axial thrust is going to be pushing let me know you scientists in the comments let me know which way the axial thrust pushes would it be pushing the gears out away from the sun gear is that what so like would or would it be trying to push the the planetary gears in it seems like the gears would be trying to get pushed out from the axial thrust don't you think I don't know let me know in the comments and if you have an X-Peak motor open it up and inspect it further and look at the bearings around I wonder if it's a different bearings that go around the axle here or do they have different bearings that are inside of the each planetary gear that can handle the thrust maybe I don't know very interesting I always I was always curious about that I think we finally figured it out the electric stealth M24 technology I am gonna cut this video here thanks for watching let me know in the comments if you were surprised and what your thoughts are Thanks Levi for making the electric and Robbie and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Like and subscribe. Later bubs.